It is yummy. That's that's what we're cooking. Something <laughs> yes. yummy. It's Friday. That means we're in our Southern Union State Community College Kitchen, and today we're celebrating National Fudge Day with Sweet Barn out of Andalusia. And joining us in the studio is Kathy Crook. Kathy, tell us about Sweet Barn. Uh, Sweet Barn is an old-fashioned country store, so we've got a lot of products. We've got uh, your home decor. We've got specialty foods, uh, but our big main thing is our handmade fudge that we make right there on site. And you're going to show us how yes, to make we, it. Yes, we are today. How popular is your fudge? Extremely popular. We travel over 13 states doing this, and we have over well over 100 flavors of fudge that we do. So we like for, for uh, Father's Day, we just brought out whiskey cashew. We got a lot of specialty fudges. So the, today we're just going to do something a little basic. We're going to do our chocolate fudges. All right. So how do we get this started? Uh, basically, you're going to get your burner on to about five, about low to medium, and you're going to add in a cup and a half of sugar along with a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you're gonna you already mix that salt. Yep, I already there. put the salt right in there, ready to go. We got two thirds cup of evaporated milk, and we've got two teaspoons of butter. Have to have butter. Of course, butter. lots of butter. butter makes everything better. Oh yes. Then you're just gonna take your spatula and you're gonna keep stirring that. You're gonna once you get it, all the sugar melted out. Once you get that melted out, you're gonna come it, let it come to a boil and do that. What you wanna do is make sure you keep stirring because that burn, sugar will burn to the bottom. And then that will give you that bitter taste. Yes. And you do not want that. A lot exactly. of people, when they are making fudge, they use a candy thermometer. Do you need that necessarily? I say for people who start off, yes. But I've been doing this for almost 25 years, so a little over 25 years. So I kind of got it down that I know where I'm going by what it looks like. You have it down to something. Yes. You can just eyeball it and go, okay, I know yes. it's ready. And it's then. basically when you get to that hard boil, which we'll see at the very end when we come, when we come back, um, when we get to that point. So basically you just get this going and you get this melted out and we wait for it to come to a boil then. Is this kind of the basic, the foundation of every fudge yes. you make? Um, pretty much. This is one of the most basic fudges, one of the ones I first started off with. And it's very easy to start for somebody who's just learning how to make fudge. Why do you enjoy making fudge? I like watching people enjoy it. It's not so much just making, I love to make stuff. I love making lots of products. I make a lot of baked goods too um, for my shop. But making fudges is fun and something not everybody can do and I like doing it. This is really simple. It yes. really is simple. It's delicious. When you taste it, you're like, how do they make this? But it's really easy it's to easy. make if you don't burn it. <laughs> if you don't burn it. Um, time, temperature, and heat is your main things. Uh, basically, you got to make sure your uh, temperature is right. You don't have it too hot, too low. you got to make sure it boils correctly. You've got to make sure it doesn't boil too long, too hard, because that'll all affect your fudge. You mentioned that candy thermometer. So what's that magic temperature you want to get it at? Um, I haven't had it checked it to temperature on this one lately. <laughs> I can't even actually remember. Because um, li literally, I just do the hard boil for four minutes. For four minutes. So four, four minutes, minutes, that's that magic, yes. that magic number. So yes. once it melts, an additional four, four minutes. minutes. Yes. Once you see that hard boil, that'll be the four minute point that we come to. All right. So we've made our base. Yes. We're going to get this boiling, let that set for four minutes, and then Jasmine's going to join you in our second yes. half hour. And we're really going to start building this oh, yes. fudge. And then at the end, we get to taste it, which yes. is nice. And you can see part. it's starting to, the sugar's melting, the butter's melting. And once that gets to that point, we'll eventually get there. Yeah. It doesn't take very long. No, it all. doesn't. And then it'll just be the four minute boil. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. We, we appreciate it. There's much more ahead here on Alabama Live on this Friday afternoon, Friday morning. It's still morning. I'm trying to rush <laughs> the day away and get to the weekend.